Morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's soap review. <clears throat> That's right, I said review. I'm gonna be doing things a little bit differently. I usually profile all the soaps that I do, <clears throat> or products for that matter. However, I'm gonna start giving in my little two cents towards the end of the review or the end of the profiling slash review. Still stick with the basic format. However, I am gonna start giving my two cents in the performance and so on and so forth, rather than just say what it is. So, having said that, let's get into the holiday of the day. Today's holiday of the day is National Lemon Meringue Pie Day. I actually am a little bit late on this one. I had lemon meringue pie last night. It was fantastic. Provided to me by my wife. Thank you very much. However, today is not necessarily about lemon meringue pie day, but if you happen to have some, enjoy it. Celebrate it for what it is. The holiday. All right, moving on to the profile. What do we have today? This is a soap that I don't see very much of at all, and I'm not really sure why we're about to find out. <clears throat> this is Tornadic, or Tornadic, depending on how you say it, uh, by Oz Shaving Company. I've only seen a few, review of these, uh, re a few reviews of these on YouTube. I have not read or watched anything about it, so I have no idea what people are saying. Just the fact that it's just not used that much. Now, uh, Oz Shaving Company, they're Kansas-based. They have a whole bunch of stuff. Um, on their website to offer for shaving products, everything from hardware to software and all the stuff in between. It's not an extensive amount of choices, but they do have pretty much everything you would need to start, anyway, a sh wet shaving adventure. So, again, that's that. We also have the, uh, they offer the matching aftershave, which I have here uh, in this. Uh, this labeling and the, the plastic containers that it comes in is pretty typical. It's just a screw top lid here, as you can see that right there. The only complaint that I have packaging wise, and this is kind of, I've seen this happen with other artisans, is when I cracked this open, the stopper came off um, in it. And I've taken the stopper off and, and stuffed it back in the bottle and, and taken it out a bunch of times. It just keeps coming off inside the cap, which is kind of annoying. Um, I like stoppers in my th in my uh, in my aftershaves. The only exception I'd say to that is Peter Tricalis's, uh signature. And that's because the mouth on it is really, really wide. The stopper would have to be the size of a, a Frisbee to be able to be in there. So... Uh, it doesn't really work to have a stopper in the inside something like that. So, <clears throat> um, but with this, the stopper keeps coming out. It's not a huge deal. It, it can be worked with, honestly. It, it's just one of those things I kind of looked at and went, wow, that's kind of a pain in the butt. So, anyway, just a, probably a freak design flaw and the thousands of them that they probably ordered or whatever. So, but anyway, having said that, let's move on. Rest of the gear for the mowing of the face. And we are doing a face shave. I don't think I mentioned that. We're doing a face shave. Uh, gold dollar, straight razor. Stropped, ready to go. We're using dogwood hybrid handle brush with a synthetic knot. And keeping it simple, we're going on to the Thayer's Witch Hazel in the JD bottle. And of course, we have our trusty Allen block on standby for slick fingers. That's pretty much it. Keeping it simple here. We're just going to get the shave done so I can get on with my day. And, uh, oh, by the way, as far as the scent is concerned, this is mahogany, uh, teak and water. It's just, it's a basic fougere. Not basic, it is a fougere scent. And I gotta tell you, it, it, this, off the puck, it's definitely a stronger <clears throat> scent than I kind of thought it would be. I kind of pictured it more of a brute type of scent. I don't know why, every time I feel, uh, hear fougere, I, I go to that and um, in my mind. And this is, this is nothing like brute, in my opinion, so, which is good. Uh, I think it smells nice. I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, when I opened it up, I, I gave it a whiff and I thought, wow, this is this is different. I actually like this quite a bit. Uh, and so that's my impression starting off the shave. So let's get this, uh, you know what? We're gonna, we usually don't, um, I don't put on camera the loading of the brush, but you know what, let's do that. Let's go ahead and let's give this a load here. I said load. All right, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and, well, certainly didn't take long. There it 
this. Um, I'm getting a lot of the, uh, like a woodsy scent to it, uh, the teak. And um, add a little bit of water to that. The mahogany's starting to come out just a little bit. Not in a bad way, it just, it just is. I'll load the heck out of this thing. So, all right, it's starting to make a lather now. So I think I've loaded it pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and, there's the puck, hardly done much to it. The, the lather is, you know, uh, uh, the pre-lather is what I'll call it, is, uh, smells nice. It's, it's pretty slick, it's pretty slick. I'm not judging it, ju judging it yet, but it is pretty slick, it works out pretty well. All right, so let's clean this up and, uh, now we better got our brush loaded and let's get this shave happening. In the meantime, take a look at this. A love for wet shaving and a bit of a self-proclaimed Oz nerd. One combination that you definitely don't hear about every day. After starting Tin Man Woodworks making shave brushes, the owner and operator Ian branched off into other aspects of wet shaving and began making all the software that comes with the task. His love for wet shaving, along with the Wizard of Oz, and being located in Kansas, Oz Shaving Company was born. With their mission to provide the best products possible, combined with a little bit of fun, they offer a wide variety of scents, all in Ian's 2.0 version tallow base. This one, called Tornadic, named after the infamous twister that took Dorothy's house for a ride until it ultimately came to rest, right on top of the Wicked Witch of the East, in the movie Wizard of Oz. The Fougere class profile features oak mosque, musk, rain, ozone, and mahogany. The shave soap comes in a 4-ounce plastic container with a screw-top lid and waterproof label. It can be found at OzShaving.com for $14.99, along with a 3.3-ounce matching post-shave tonic for $13.99. Ian also has an Etsy page, but lists a much more comprehensive catalog on his website. Razors and brushes and soap, oh my, I just couldn't resist. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's a closer look at the soap in more detail. We're rocking and rolling, ready to go. You can see it's a little bit sudsy right there, but I think we'll work that out once we go into the face lather. The brush is pretty loaded. I got it pretty heavy with some soap, and uh, here we go.
Gentlemen, we are back, and as you can see, the shave has been completed. I got a pretty good shave out of it, but that was mostly, I got to be honest with you, due to my own technique. Again, tornadic, tornadic. I know I said before there was a waterproof label. I said it in the commentary, and to be honest with you, I thought it completely was. Uh, however, you can see there's water that's already getting underneath here and making that a little dark, which leads me to believe maybe the waterproof label is not as waterproof as I thought it would be. Kind of a little bit of a disappointment, especially when you're wet shaving. You want that weight label to be absolutely waterproof, but oh well. I guess that's neither here nor there. However, <clears throat> the performance in the beginning, the performance was kind of uh, the original initial slickness was a little lacking for me. Um, I felt like the soap was a little, kind of afraid of water. I threw more water onto it, and the lather seemed to kind of dissipate. So I backed it off, dialed in more soap a little bit later. <clears throat> it's thickened up, and it helped a little bit. However, the initial slickness just wasn't the slickest I've ever seen. Did it work? Yes. Did I get a good shave? I did. Is it a top tier soap? No, it is not. Um, the residual slickness was there, just wasn't super, super great. The, uh, the density was there, the, the, the lather itself was, you know, it was there. I could feel the slickness in my fingers. Just that I felt like when I was shaving, when it, the slickness just wasn't overly great. Now this is his version two. I have no idea what you know, Ian's version one was like. I didn't test that at all. So, and I didn't test this either other than just now. So, uh, as far as the scent is concerned, it's, I'd say it's probably a five out of the scent strength scale. I did notice that it geared way towards the mahogany once I started shaving with it. Definitely, if you're, if you're a wood type of person uh, for scent wise, you like mahogany, cedar, that sort of thing. Uh, actually, if you like mahogany, I mean cedar. Uh, then you're gonna like this. This is definitely, definitely like a mahogany in your mahogany in your face. So um, I don't know if that's the case with the aftershave, but let's give it this a shot. Uh, now, if the stopper comes out, I usually, like it does, I usually just pull it out, pop it back in there, and hopefully it'll stay. I don't get the mahogany as much on the aftershave, which is fine. It's almost, it's almost, uh, I almost got a citrus scent to it. But the, the, the aftershave is definitely a different take on the scent profile than the soap is. The soap is way mahogany forward, and this is, this is almost, almost a cologne citrus. Smells good. I like the I actually like the aftershave scent better than the soap scent. So, anyway, those are my two scents for this particular soap. Uh, try it. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. If you have used them, let me know. If you haven't used them and you get a sample from them and you do offer samples, give them a shot. Maybe they'll work better for you. Anyway, this is my personal opinion on this soap. Folks, thank you very much for joining me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at CV Shaven. Folks, I am Chad. Thank you very much for joining me, and we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.